canine respiratory system. Respiration, a function we don't often think about. After all, we do it automatically. Breathing is a necessary function in the body, as we need oxygen for growth and need to expel the waste, which is carbon dioxide. Let's take a look at how the system works in a canine's body. External breathing. The dog breathes in, inhales oxygen. Gas exchange occurs between the air and blood inside the lungs. The dog then breathes out, exhales. Internal breathing. The oxygen passes through the nasal cavity, past the epiglottis, into the larynx, to the back of the throat, which is the pharynx, and down into the trachea. The air then branches off into the left and right bronchus, which branch off into little bronchioles. At the end of the bronchioles are teeny sacs called alveoli. Each alveoli is covered by an alveolar sac, which is made up of teeny capillaries. Cellular breathing. As the oxygen passes through the canine's lungs, it then goes through a chemical process that happens in the cells of the canine, which break down the nutrients and turn the oxygen into carbon dioxide. This is then released through the water and waste. Gas exchange. The carbon dioxide travels through the blood capillaries and into the alveoli. The alveoli transfers oxygen and carbon dioxide through the bloodstream. Once it's through the alveoli, it returns up through the main passageway and into the lungs. This is called the bronchi. And back out, creating the final and important stage of respiration. Why can't you hold oxygen forever? So you may have asked yourself before, why does it hurt to hold my breath? Well, the answer is quite interesting. When you inhale oxygen, the body's natural process is converted into carbon dioxide through cellular breathing. When this happens, the carbon dioxide becomes the waste product. If the waste product is held in for too long, it becomes toxic, suffocating you from the inside out. That is why you can't hold your oxygen forever. The heart. The heart receives oxygen through the coronary artery, which will eventually carry the blood into the heart, then throughout the rest of the body.